When I design my schematic or the PCB layout, I find myself often clicking on that ERC or the DRC buttons to ensure my designs conform to the rules. I find it pretty fun to click on that ladybug icon. But some errors happen pretty repeatedly as part of the designing process. So in today's video, I want to go through three common ERC or electricals rules check in the schematic as well as DRC or design rules check in the PCB layout editor and end off with a discussion on how I use it as the philosophy of TDD, test driven development in small steps with some aspiration to use it with automation in the future. At the very beginning of making the schematic, I typically need to connect the various pins of different schematic symbols. Let's start with a common error that is a conflict between pins. We will connect the busy pin of this e-ink module. In the schematic, when we run the ERC, there is one error. It shows a conflict between pin 1, the busy pin, of U6, the e-ink module, and pin 10 of J4, the JTAG SWD connector. We can solve this error by opening the symbol editor to find out the type of pin. Pin 1 of U6 is an output, whereas pin 10 of J4 is an open collector. We can edit the pin-to-pin -pin connection as part of the options in ERC. By default, when an output pin connects to an open collector pin, it is an error. Just for fun, let's change it to a warning and run the ERC again. The ERC will correctly give a warning with the same message. Can we change it to green and passing? Yes, the ERC has no errors at all. So we can use these options to configure for individual projects, but I will change it back to the default options and run the ERC again. It shows an error like before. Let's fix the error. Pin 1 of e-ink should be connected to the microcontroller's pin 30, that is a bi-directional pin. In the ERC options, the bi-directional pin connecting to an output pin should give no error. Let's run the ERC one last time. Awesome, there are no more errors. Now that some of the pins are connected, we are left with the other pins. After solving the conflict between the pins, the second most common error that I get is the unconnected pins. For this example, we will use a LoRa module by Hope RF, but not all the pins are connected. Back in the schematic, U5 is the LoRa module component designator. Let's run the ERC. And there are five errors of the same type, pin not connected in U5. This type of error is easy to solve. All we need to do is place a no connection symbol in each of the unconnected pins. Let's run the ERC again. There you see all the errors are gone. The last most common type of ERC error that I get is pin not driven. To understand this problem, let's start with a very popular dev board, the Arduino Uno. Even if we don't connect the pins and use the no connection symbol, while the 5 volts and ground are connected with their corresponding power symbols, the ERC will not pass. Two errors say the same thing. Pin connected to other pins, but not driven by any pin. I don't know whether this is unique to KiCad as a tool, but to solve it, we can use the power flag symbol, which is a special symbol for telling the ERC where the power comes from. We need one power flag for the 5 volts and another Another one for the ground. Now when we run the ERC, there are no more errors. Let's extend this example a little further by adding a common temperature sensor DHT11 to the digital pin D4. The power symbols 5 volts and ground are also added, but this time no special power flags will be required because we have already added them to the same net. When we run the ERC, there are no errors. But now when we add an open solder jumper to the VCC and run the ERC, the error appears again. This time it will be at the VCC pin of the sensor because of course it cannot be powered because of the open solder jumper. To pass the ERC, we have to add a power flag to this pin. After annotating everything, there are no errors. Do read this informative KiCad forum thread on this particular error. I found it helpful to understand what was going wrong. 
While the ERC deals with our schematic design, the DRC or design rules check does something very similar with our PCB layout. The first common type of DRC error is pad to close. When we import all the footprints into the PCB layout editor, it will typically display all the components as a rat's nest. At this instant, when we run the DRC, it should have no errors, but lots of unconnected items. After some crucial design decisions, we do the component placement without laying a single track or filled zones. Now, when we run the DRC, there are the same number of unconnected items, but 19 errors. The error message is pad too close to pad, and these pads seem to be from the same footprint. For example, pad 1 and pad 2 of JP2. I located these errors. They seem to come from three types of footprints, which are the micro USB, the TQFN, and the open solder jumpers. This type of error was very baffling to me. I used these footprints from the library. I did not create them, and I have not yet routed a single track. After some sleuthing, I finally solved it. Click the property of each of the footprints affected, go to the tab local clearance and settings and change the pad clearance. By default, it is zero millimeters, but check with the manufacturer's capabilities. For example, I use PCBWay to manufacture PCBs. The minimum spacing here is 0.1 millimeter, but strongly suggested to design spacing above 0.15 millimeter. Back in KiCad, I put the pad clearance to 0.2 millimeter for all the footprints affected because it's best not to push the manufacturer's capabilities. Now, when I run the DRC, I should have the same number of unconnected items, but no errors. PCBs are eventually a matter of tackling various physical constraints, especially when we are trying to pack the components close together. As part of DRC, we can check for courtyard or boundary overlaps. For example, it's useful to place mounting holes on our PCBs using M2, M3 screws, nuts, or spacers. They do have boundaries beyond the holes. By default in KiCad, the DRC check does not include courtyards. Go to the board setup, design rules to check the box called prohibit overlapping courtyards. Now when we run the DRC, there will be an error for the courtyard. Let's move this M3 screw footprint just a little. Refill the copper zone again to run the DRC. No more errors. The last DRC error happens frequently towards the end of my PCB layout. While I'm laying those long tracks through the filled zones, I get an unrelated message that uh, I have unconnected items even after I just routed the track. Let's look at this example where I am left with just one unconnected route as shown by this rat's nest line. When I run the DRC, it correctly says I have one unconnected item. So let's route it something like this. And uh, that should clear the last remaining unconnected item, right? But when I run the DRC, yes, I don't have any errors, but there is still an unconnected item and it's not the same as what I routed. So confusing. I finally figured out what happened. Let's zoom out to see the big picture. While routing the final track, I split the top filled zone into two parts, one on the right, the other on the left. To fix this, we need to adjust the last track so that the filled zones get connected. Let's try again. I run the DRC and no more unconnected items. Now that we have covered some of the most common ERC, DRC errors, the question is, how do we use them? I can't help but take some inspiration from the software domain with test-driven development philosophy. Firstly, I try to do these checks often. In the schematic, I run the ERC after I complete each logical block. I don't try to add more schematic elements without running the ERC so that I'm not overwhelmed by the number of errors later. 
Secondly, I tie these ERC DRC checks with Git version control. For example, in the PCB layout, whenever I complete a group of related routes, I run the DRC, solve all the errors and Git commit the project immediately. And lastly, using ERC DRC as part of continuous integration automatically. Now I admit I have not done it before, so it remains as an aspiration. In the hardware world, this is not a norm yet, but people are definitely trying. There are some repositories of such automation utility, as well as forum discussions on integrating DRC as part of continuous integration. I am definitely looking forward to an evolving landscape with respect to integrating ERC DRC in CI easily. I would love to know your common errors in ERC and DRC. Now the choice of tool, whether it's KiCad, Altium, Eagle, does not really matter. It's the concepts that are more important. So drop your comments below about your thoughts uh, about how we can use them like TDD and let's have a discussion on how we can run these checks better. So thanks for watching and see you next time.